account where a baby or where a child was baptized. In the Bible, children were not baptized. Children were presented to the Lord. That's why we don't baptize children. We dedicate them and we present them to the Lord. And the reason we bring, we present our children to the Lord are for basically two reasons. Number one, we believe that our children are a blessing from the Lord. Amen. We don't believe that children are a curse. We don't believe that children are a problem. We don't believe that children are, are a burden. We believe they're a blessing from the Lord. Amen. So when the parents bring their children, they come to say to God and with you and with me, the pastor, I want to thank God for my children. Yes. And the other biggest reason we dedicate our children to the Lord, besides bringing them to thank God for them, is this. God is the only one that can bless the future of our children. Yes. Amen. Even though you, you and me as parents desire the best for them, and we're going to try to do the best, God is the only one that can bless the future of our children. Yes. So when we dedicate the children this morning, first of all, I'm going to lay hands on them. I'm going to say, God, thank you for these children. And I'm going to say, God, bless the future of these children. So at this time, I'm going to ask Matthew's parents, Brother Mark and Sister Rose to come. Ralph's parents to bring Ralph. Yes, yes. And then I'm going to ask Joe to bring Alyssa, baby Joe, the fourth. Come. And if you have witnesses, we don't call them godparents. We just call them witnesses. If you have witnesses, you can come. Come forward, and we're going to pray for you. And we're going to dedicate your children to the Lord. Can I have the pictures, please? Give a hand of applause to all these beautiful little babies that we have for such a good All right? So we're going to present Mr. Matthew, Mr. Ralph, Mr. Joe, Alana, and Alyssa. That's Alyssa. I, I told her parents, my, my, my son is going to marry an Alyssa, not her, but one of this one. All right. Now, this is what you have to do as parents. Joe asked me this morning, Pastor, what I got to do? So you got to you got to sign your life away. Listen to this, parents. You will either be the biggest reason why your children have emotional hurts. Or you will be the biggest reason why your children grow out to be healthy. The best thing, the be guys, the best thing that you can do for your children is not buying any Nike shoes. The best thing is to love them. Is to love their mom. Uh, it's, it's not about marriage. It's about them. But the best thing that will grow and help these kids grow in a healthy relationship, understand, is for y'all to love their mom. The second thing, besides loving their mom. And actually, the first is to love God. Yes, amen. If you love God, God will help you like he's helped Mr. Mark to this day, Ralph, Mr. Joe. And for you ladies, love God, love your children. Now, your children, you're bringing them to church, but the church is not going to change them. You say, oh, God, I hope we sprinkle something in them to change them to the angels. You're not an angel, so they're not going to be angels. Like you have problems in your life, you're going to have problems. But this is where prayer and this is where your commitment to God comes in. And you ask God, help us as parents to live for you and to model for our children what living for God is all about. So I pray that God blesses you as parents. I'm going to get down and I'm going to pray for your children. I'm going to pray for Matthew first. Father, right now I lay my hands on Matthew. Thank you for his parents. Thank you for Brother Mark. Thank you for his mom, Sister Rose, for his siblings. And, and for God, you have a purpose for this little boy. God, you have a purpose for him. And I pray over him as David prayed, God, that your purpose be fulfilled in my life. I don't know if, if this little boy, God, is going to be a doctor, a lawyer, a businessman, a preacher. I don't know what he's going to be, a pilot. But God, you have a purpose for his life. And I pray, God, that you fulfill Matthew's purpose in his life. And that Matthew, God, will live for you all the days of his life. Protect him, bless him as he grows up. 
helping in school, helping with a friend that he's going to have. God is protecting and continue to bless us there. In Jesus' name, today I dedicate Matthew to you in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Father, I pray for Ralph. Thank you for this little boy that you've given Ralph in September. I pray that you protect him. I pray that you care for him. I pray that this young, this little baby God becomes a warrior for you. That he becomes a fighter for you, God, and for your cause. I know you have a purpose for this baby was born. And I pray the same thing that David prayed. God, let your purpose be done in his life. God, I know he's going to be a doctor, a lawyer, a businessman, uh, a preacher. God, whatever you have in store for this, this child, help his parents. And God, I dedicate Ralph to you, God, Garcia the third, in the name of the Father, the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name. Father, this morning I also pray for little Joe, for Alyssa, Alana, this little baby that you've given to Joe and his wife. I pray your protection. I pray your blessings over them. I pray for their siblings. I pray, God, that you bless Alana. I pray that you bless Alyssa, little Joe. I dedicate them to you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. God, if you want these girls to become nurses, doctors, lawyers, wives of preachers, I don't know, God, pilots, but I pray, God, that their parents would dare to pray big dreams over their children. So, Father, I dedicate these three children to you in the 